everyone, this is Ralu from Outline Planner. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the most frequent mistake people do when they import their new planner inside GoodNotes and you can apply this as well to Note Shelf. And I'm going to show you what that mistake is and how that can make you crazy. But most important is that I'm going to show you how to fix it if you're doing it and how to avoid it in the future. So let's say I have my 2023 planner opened in September and I just bought the 2024 planner and I'm really excited to add it inside my app. The new planner is here. I want this one, so I'm going to hit select. And then I have the option to, oh, here it is. I have the option to open in GoodNotes. I never open my notebooks like this because this is what happens. Open in GoodNotes. And once you open in GoodNotes, the GoodNotes app will open and will show you this screen. Import to GoodNotes, import to current document. Ideally, you don't want to hit the blue button because it will import the new planner's pages inside your current one, the one that you have opened. So instead of hitting the blue button, you may just want to hit the import as a new document link. So what happens if you, however, click the blue button? The new pages of the 2024 planner will start importing in the old planner. So here's what happens. You get two planners into one file. See how this one is 2024? Let me slide back. And this one is 2023. So basically you have two planners in one and that will make you crazy because that's not what you wanted. There is a fix to it and here's how you quickly fix it you move the pages of the 2024 outside the 2023 planner. The new planner starts with a cover, this one. Let me show you. This is the cover for the new planner. It really depends on the planner you've bought, but for my 2024 planner, this is the cover. Also, the 2024 planner ends with a cover. And in order to see that cover, you go to this final notebook and the final section, section 12. Slide the page just a bit and then you will see the back cover. The back cover is page, in my case, so in your case should be different, is page number 2384. Okay, close it. Let's start moving this outside the 2023 planner. So what I'm going to do now, went to the calendar. This is among the very first pages of the plan. Now I'm sliding until I get to the cover. Now I'm going to go to the thumbnails. This is the cover. This is the start of the recently important plan. So I'm going to start selecting the pages. There are a lot of them, so be patient. Hit select. And then let's start selecting. In good notes, in GoodNotes 5, you can do this or this. So you can select more pages at a time. Faster way to select your pages is by keeping your pen pressed. So here it is. Select the first on the left, go right and then go down and keep your pen pressed and until you see pages moving by themselves. So keep them pressed up until the edge of your screen and then the pages will get selected. And let's go down to the last page of the 2024 notebook. You may want to do this approach when you have a planner with so many pages like an outline planner. And now that you have reached to your destination, which is the back cover, you have all your planners selected. So it took me like 
seven minutes to do so. It might take you less or more depending on how many pages the recently inserted planner has. Now let's move this out of the 2023 outline planner, so the old planner. With all those pages selected, hit move, pick the location of your new planner. Let's put it in videos for now. Create new document. And it will save under the same name, 2023 in my case, but it will add an one at the end. This is the one, the new one, the 2024. Now let's check the links. Yes, the links are still working. So you have um, successfully moved the pages outside the 2023 outline planner and created a new document with those moved pages. Let's go to September to make sure the pages are moved. So yes, there is no longer a uh, 2024 planner inserted. So this is how you do it. And then you go back and this is the version that you have moved away. So make sure you rename it with whatever name you want. And now you have it. Next time you are importing a planner inside good notes. And again, you can use it for note shelf as well. Use this little plus button. You just tap it once import, and then you select your planner open and it will open as an individual document. So there is no way you can mess things up with your previous planners.